heard the stories, diabetes drugs, helping people lose weight, drink less alcohol. Could it also be the key to helping smokers kick the habit for good? Tonight, Rekha Mutaraj reports how clinical trials happening at UT Health in Houston right now are showing promise. I want to be more mindful in how I experience things and I don't want to have the crutch of needing something else. For years, Miranda Johnson had her why. I want to be able to live my day with a little bit more freedom or not hiding the fact that, you know, I've like used cigarettes or been super reliant on nicotine. She just didn't know how she would quit smoking for good. So when the 33-year-old student researcher found out about clinical trials at UT Health using diabetes medications to help with smoking cessation, she signed herself up. At least, you know, this is our working hypothesis. We believe that these medications decrease reward uh, from substances of abuse, including nicotine. Dr. Luba Yamin is heading up the clinical trials. She says it's a double-blind study where participants are given GLP-1 agonists, or placebos, and monitored over the course of 15 weeks. And she says since smokers tend to gain weight after quitting, there's a possibility of another benefit. In the context of this work, uh, we're not so much looking for weight losses, but we're looking for um, prevention of weight gain. So this is a little bit um, of a different research question that we're trying to answer. GLP-1 agonists are a class of drugs that includes brand names like Ozempic and Ribelsis. A study in the journal Nature Communications reported people taking these drugs, originally designed for diabetes, had up to a 56 percent decreased odds for either becoming an alcoholic or relapsing into alcoholism. And there's also anecdotal evidence that these drugs can help decrease urges to gamble or compulsively shop and even nail biting. These are uh, reward related behaviors. Um, so first of all, compulsory behaviors, but also reward related behaviors, which is um, what how we believe these medications uh, may work in the realm of addictions. For Johnson, a mother who has tried to quit several times participating in this study, feels like a turning point. I'm very grateful to be in Dr. Yamin's study because I didn't expect to have such a positive outcome from this. I already feel hopeful that things will be fine. While it's easy to get excited about headlines like this, Dr. Yamin says more randomized clinical trials are needed. So it could be a few more years before diabetes or weight loss drugs are prescribed specifically for smoking cessation. I'm Rekha Mutaraj with KHOU 11 News. There are ongoing clinical trials and more participants are needed. If you're a smoker and you'd like to quit, you could be a part of the UT Health Study. Here's what you do. Call 713-500-3784. We also have that number on our website, khou.com. Look for this story on the homepage.